Lately, there's talk of a regional peace conference to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But you may be surprised to know there are some places here in Israel where Jews and Arabs live and even study together. CBN Scott Ross brings us that story from Israel's biblical heartland. This is Ariel University, located in the hills of biblical Samaria. Established in 1982, the school sought to improve higher education here, especially in the sciences, engineering, and health. We're standing in front of now a particle accelerator. Yes. What is the purpose of a particle accelerator? Does every home need one? You do have a, a little one in every home. Really? You have a microwave oven. Okay. And in the microwave oven, you have a little particle accelerator, and it creates the radiation. Professor Aharon Friedman told me there are only a few of these machines in the world. The main research that we actually have occurring here now is cancer research. We have discovered that that particular radiation causes cancer cells to kill themselves. Kill themselves? Yes. Put them on a suicide mission. Exactly. <laughs> but all the healthy cells are alive and well. The university's home is Ariel, what some call a West Bank settlement and territory Palestinians want for a future state. It's also a land promised to the Jewish people as an eternal inheritance in the Bible. But you have been boycotted at times. We have been boycotted. Who's boycotting you? Uh, European governments, uh, the U.S. State Department. Oddly enough, despite the politics, the university represents a model for coexistence. 15,000 Israeli, Jewish, and Arab students study here together without a problem. I spoke with a variety of the students, Shira, a Jewish woman from New York, Efrat, a religious Israeli woman, Eli Ron, a reserve soldier, Yasser, an Israeli Arab, and Yossi, whose family immigrated from Ethiopia. Why did you choose to come to Ariel University? I was looking for where there's a good psychology program, uh, something like an eclectic student body, and I found it here. Okay, any of the rest of you? Why you? Because of the professional, of course, the professional um, department here and especially in communication. The people here are so warm and, and happy, and the teachers too. It's a small university, so uh, they can give a good care to every student they see. Do you agree with what he's saying about the, the atmosphere, the, yeah, the relationships? It's, uh, it's a good atmosphere. My relationship with uh, other people is uh, very good as well, and uh, I don't have any problem with anyone here. Do any of you get any uh, hassles or problems from family members because you have chosen to come to school here? There are a lot of uh, hostile Arabs around here and they can, uh, there is a lot of incidents around here so uh, you know the parents are afraid for the yeah. children. It, it would seem that you could be a model for the rest of the country uh, between Jews, Arabs, whatever. Um, is that true? Yes, Hopefully. I think so. Of course. Yeah. In my apartment the next door is, uh, is Arab uh, yeah. people and we have a good relationship, we don't have a problem at all. Are you surprised by how effective you guys are? Well, I'm not surprised. I have to be part of the system here that sends a message to everyone. The thing is that people remember this place from bad times, harsh times when things were rough or bad publicity in the news, but no one really comes here to see what's happening, so they don't really know. So that's why we're here. No, maybe we will change something. Yeah. No, because I think that people really think that it's a, a very a hard or a, not a safe place, but it's not true. Chancellor Yigal Cohen Orgad credits the university's success to creating an informal atmosphere where students see each other eye to eye. Do you have many conflicts here in the university? Thanks God, not at all. We passed in Israel two intifadas, this university. There was no one evening or one day of tension f between Jews and Arabs that study here. Despite its cutting-edge research, pastoral setting and quiet campus life, some see Ariel University as a controversial place. Have you had problems with the international community or with the other Israelis? We don't have problems with other universities and research institutes. 
We have real problems with many governments, first of all in Europe, and part of the American government, i.e. the State Department, that tries to boycott us, formally or informally. Why? Because they think we don't have the right as Jews to live here in Somalia. Do you have hope for the future for peace for Israel? I am sure one day we are going to have peace with our Arab neighbors. Based on this understanding that we are here to stay, we shall find a way to live in peace. Scott.